We're going to be looking for properties that need nothing more than cosmetic renovations. And we're going to avoid those areas in the Cleveland market that have the highest tax rate. Jason, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As you can tell, I am not in the Holton Wise studio. This is another episode from my house. Make casa, su casa. You know, you guys know the deal, right? Social distancing, the virus, the pandemic, blah, 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 blah. Holton Wise, we are doing our part uh, to help prevent the spread of the virus. So we have non-essential field staff working from remote locations. And uh, considering that Holton Wise TV and YouTube can be accessed from my house, you guys get to do a little video with Jay Wise in his home. So today I'm working with my guy, Jason. Jason, we've already done uh, a little bit of work together. The deals didn't pan out, but we're, we're looking for another one. We got another one uh, in the wings here. You've kind of what you did is from the previous video we made, you narrowed things down a little bit more. And that's good, man. That's smart, right? When we do these videos, folks, uh, you know, we're shooting out a lot of, you know, packages and discounts where we do multiple videos for you. So the idea is you buy a package of several videos and we do them one, two, three, you know, one at a time, like this one, this one, this one. We don't just like do all of them and send them to you, right? We do one video. I send it to you, my team. You know, we go back and forth, you know, maybe it's everything you were looking for and then we make the move or maybe, you know, you had some misconceptions about the market and I cleared some of those up in the video and then maybe you want to shift gears or maybe perhaps, you know, based upon what you told me you wanted to do, I went and I made the video and perhaps maybe I was like, I started kind of veering off course a little bit and you want to direct me back, you know, to another focus, right? So oftentimes, you know, the first video we do together is a little bit uh, more wide. And then after, you know, one-on-one -on -one feedback, we can work together and really narrow things down. And that's what we've done here with Jason. Now, Jason, uh, what we're doing, what we're aiming for today, we want to be in a C-class neighborhood. Your budget is between sixty dollars and $120,000. You're going to be getting a traditional loan. And of that money, you do have available to you $50,000 in cash. Now, the particular property I found for you, you're not going to need to use all that cash, but we do have that available. You're open to Section 8. You're open to singles or multis. I know you were hoping, uh, you know, possibly for some quads, but you know those are going to be hard to find, brother. Uh, so the property we're going to do today, it is a single. It's not going to be a quad. Um, you know, they just aren't sitting on the market, guys. And, uh, you know, with, with your goal of what you want to do here, you know, unlikely, right? You probably, no scenario where you're getting a, a $120,000 quad in a C-class neighborhood. That's, that's just not going to happen, bro. Um, another thing, too, that I just need to uh, make sure I clarify for you. You're looking to do nothing more than minor cosmetic renovations. Totally cool, man. Uh, but you had made a note to me that uh, per your numbers, you're, you're thinking 25 to 30% cash on cash return can be easily obtained. Uh, in a C-class market, doing nothing but cosmetic renovations and avoiding the municipalities that have POS and the higher tax rate, um, that is just not realistic, right? You, you're not going to get away with a 25 to 30% cash on cash return. Just not where we're at with the market. It's definitely going to be lower than that, but that's okay, man, because you could still make a ton of money. And that is what we are going to do. So the, the property that I found for you, man, 12209 Wayland Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. Just listed this week by a realtor working out of a company called Westway Realty. Now, this is a, you know, this is a solid property. You know, cruising through the photos, you see it's just a nice 
three bed, two bath bungalow. Now it's occupied currently, but these are not tenants. These are actual homeowners. And you know, you can see that they've taken a relatively, you know, the house is in pretty good shape, right? We don't have to do anything major, just some cosmetics, right? Like you take a look at the wood floor in the living room, right? Obviously, you know, that is substandard. We're not going to be able to leave that like that. So of course we're going to have to do that. And you know, it's hard to tell right now because all of their furniture and things of that nature are in there. But if you notice, right, these folks, they're homeowners. They've been here a long time. There is a lot of stuff on the wall. We got trinkets, knickknacks, photos. We got stuff all over the place, right? So there's, you know, there's going to be a ton of holes. So we're going to have to go through, do a bunch of patchwork. Plus, you know, we got multiple colors in here, right? Like these yellows, reds, pinks. I mean, when we're doing rental blues in the upstairs, when we're doing rental properties, the goal is not to have as many colors as humanly possible, right? We want to have as few colors as humanly possible. So what we're going to want to do is pick a color that appeals to the masses, right? We're going to utilize agreeable gray because that is the number one most popular color in the United States of America. So what we're going to do, we're going to paint every one of these walls. We're going to patch all them holes, paint all the walls, agreeable gray, go white on the trim, refinish the hardwoods that are throughout the home. In that upstairs bedroom, we're going to have to lay something down. You know, we could go carpet. We could also go with a, a nice vinyl floor up there so we don't have to change it out in between tenants, but we're going to have to address that. And then in the kitchen, we're going to have to update it cosmetically. Now the floor, the floor is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on with the backsplash, right? As you can see, they just like started doing a backsplash on one of these random walls in the front here next to the stove, uh, as opposed to, you know, more traditional places that you'd see a backsplash. So I, I don't really know, but you know, the cabinetry, we can keep the cabinetry. We might want to upgrade the counters. We might be able to leave it. Maybe just, you know, updating the handles, the floor, the floor in there's going to be okay. I would imagine the sellers are going to be taking those appliances with them when they sell, but that's totally cool, man. Uh, we're going to be able to rent this property out without appliances. The tenants are going to bring their own. So with all of that, we, so we do all of that stuff, right? Just that, that cosmetic stuff going through this whole particular home. We're going to be able to rent this property for $1,000 a month. That's going to bring in approximately $12,000 a year. Now, I think they priced it really good, okay? This is a very low price, right? We got to be competitive with the market, right? I know you're aiming for 25, 30% cash on cash, but that's just not competitive. But of course, that's why you pay me, right? That's why you pay me to do these analysis videos for you. Um, so we're going to come in lower cash on cash. And we're also going to try to get the property for a little bit less, right? Because it's not showing well, right? Like, you know, the house has got good bones, but it, it doesn't necessarily appeal to anybody. It's kind of hodgepodge. It's sloppy. It's kind of dirty. Um, so nobody's like falling in love with this. Plus you take a C-class neighborhood like this, you get, you know, a lot of people, you know, as investors, right? A lot of investors are going in these neighborhoods, turning these properties into rentals. There are still a bunch of folks buying owner occupied properties, but you know, in these C-class neighborhoods where the properties are so cheap, it's kind of hard for, you know, to get like really good credit qualified buyers in there. Sometimes that can be tough. So, you know, I think we'll have a chance to even grab some money off of that list price. So 54.9 is what they're aiming for. I would like to pick this up for you for $48,000. And all the renovations I've been talking about, uh, in addition, one more thing we got to do. If you look in the backyard, as you can see here, we don't have a garage. Now, that's not a problem. We'll still be able to rent the property for $1,000 a month without that garage. Cleveland, unlike some of the POS cities in our market, uh, by the way, in the show notes, I've got a link to a short video talking about the point of sale process. For anybody that's curious about that, check that out. Some of those municipalities that require point of sale inspections will actually require you to rebuild a garage. City of Cleveland itself, which is where this property is located, does not require that. So you will not need to worry about point of sale violations and you will not need to, you know, build a brand new garage, which is good because that costs you close to $20,000, right? When we have single family homes, though, what we got to do, we got to provide those tenants a place to store lawn equipment if we want them to cut the grass. And we do want to cut them the grass because that's going to save us $528 a year and having Holton Wise come cut the grass for you. So with my renovation budget, all the cosmetic stuff on the inside, getting this thing looking spick and span, beautiful, ready to rock. 
bringing in a thousand bucks a month and building a shed in the backyard. I, I want to spend approximately fifteen thousand dollars. You know, going in the basement too. Uh, the mechanicals, they don't look brand new. I'm not saying we need to replace them or anything like that, but they are a little bit on the older side, but we'll account for that in our capital expenditures. But, you know, there may be some unknown things that, you know, the inspectors are going to bring up, or maybe my crew comes in there. Maybe that hot water tank is leaking. I don't know. But, you know, just leaving a little bit of room for a little bit of gotchas, making it beautiful cosmetically, installing the tent at the shed, boom, 15 Gs. So, all in, I'd like you to be into this deal for 63K. Doing that, we're going to be able to bring in a pretty nice chunk of coin, man. We're still going to account for repairs and maintenance because, you know, turnovers are eventually going to happen. We're going to put a tenant in there, but that tenant ain't going to last forever. Vacancy and non-payment, same deal. CapEx, like I said. Furnace, hot water tank, they don't look brand new by any means. Um, you know, we're going to utilize them as long as we can. But when we uh, have to replace that furnace, dude, you're looking at three G's. When you have to replace the hot water tank, you're looking at a G. Hot water tank, they last 15 years. Furnace, they last approximately 30. In addition, we got taxes, 106. Insurance, 60 bucks a month. Jason, I believe you already know this, but for everybody else out there, Holton Wise, we have a farmer's insurance um, franchise. So we can actually quote and insure all of your rental properties. And it don't have to be here in the Cleveland market. So all my folks out there who buy in different states or you're buying from our vendors, you know, like US Reeb down there in Kansas City or our folks in Indianapolis, Birmingham, Alabama, Memphis, Tennessee, you know, all those markets or any other markets out there, guys, we handle insurance for all of that. So in the show notes below, Click there, get a free quote. Let's see if we can lower your rate because that's all we do, guys. It's insurance for landlords, by landlords. We shop it around, get you the cheapest policy. What you really need, guys, when you're investing in real estate and you have your rentals, you want a basic fire policy and you also want a high liability policy, right? The fire, if your house gets torched, you need to be able to get all that money back, possibly tear it down, cover up the hole or rebuild or in addition to that, you need to have a high liability policy because if a tenant gets injured at your property or somebody kills somebody, stuff like that, they come after you, you need to make sure your booty is covered. Other than that, a lot of the riders insurance agents, they try to sell you, man, it doesn't apply to us, guys. It don't apply. I've seen insurance agents try to sell investors on a personal property rider. Like what the what the, what the hell? Personal property rider, dude? It's a fucking rental property. You don't have any property, personal items there at all. Like, dude, some, some insurance agents even try to like get you to insure your wife's wedding ring, just stuff like that, right? Cut through out of BS, guys. Deal with us and you talk to people that are investors and know exactly what you're looking for. You don't have to go through that bullshit, right? Back to the chart, though. Water sewer, it's going to run you 75. If you're curious to know why you always have to pay water sewer here in the Cleveland market, even at a single family home like this one, go to our FAC, HoltonWise.com, click on our property management FAC. That'll be explained to you in more detail. We already talked about the lawn care. We're going to get tenants a shed, so they'll take care of that. And then PM, 100 bones a month. So all in all, on average, Jason, you should be spending 491 a month to operate this, which will bring you in 509 a year on average. So you're going to be making over $6,000 a year with this bad boy. Now, here's the cool thing, man. You got $50,000 in cash, but I, I don't want you to spend all that cash, right? We're going to have you only spend $12,000 of that cash because this thing, even though it needs some cosmetic love, that's the good thing with you buying this particular property and not wanting to do like full on hardcore renovations, right? We're just doing cosmetic stuff. It's still going to qualify for that financing right now. So you only got to put down $12,000, get a teeny tiny mortgage. After you pay off your mortgage, you're going to be bringing home $4,296 a year on average. Now, as far as your cash on cash return goes, we got to account for that down payment plus that $15,000 I wanted to spend up front to get this thing looking beautiful. We do all that, you should still be bringing home a cash on cash return of almost 16%, right? 15.9% is what I believe you'll make on average. And that's going to involve you only spending $27,000 of your cash on hand. So that's still going to leave you with an additional 23000 of your 50 k Now, I know when you and I did a video in the past, you were even considering 
uh, utilizing some credit card debt, things of that nature, right? So we don't want to get into that, you know, get into high risk stuff like that, right? So this, we only got to utilize 27K of your cash, and then you got some cash left over, possibly do another low risk deal after this. So I think that is the correct move, man. And as always, uh, if this sounds good to you and you're ready to move forward on this deal, simply send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We'll put in the offer for you. My target, I'm hoping to pick this up for you for approximately $48,000. Now, again, they priced it very good. Um, so we're going to come in a little lower than our target of 46. I would like to maybe come in at like or I'm, I'm our target of 48 rather. I would like to come in at 46 to get the ball rolling. We want to offer a little bit less, but we don't want to offer solo. We don't want to come in and be like, yo, 35K. We say 35K, the listing agent is not going to take us seriously, right? They're just going to ignore our offer. You offer like 35K on a property that's clearly worth more and is clearly going to have a high demand. Um, you know, I, I see investors, they think they could just shoot that stuff out there on these new listings. And no, the, you're just going to get ignored by the seller. The seller just thinks you're a Yahoo and they're not going to pay any attention to you. So we got to come in close to where we ideally want to be. So I want to start it at 46 with the goal of picking it up for you at 48. And then of course, inspections, appraisals, things of that nature. My team will be able to schedule those, coordinate those for you. If you need inspector referrals, we've got those just like lender referrals, right? Anybody else who's watching this, you want to get the ball started. What I want you to do, you go to holtonwise.com. Go to the property search and analysis show tab, click that, order yourself a single analysis like this one or a package where you do several videos like Jason did. This is one of several videos Jason did and you can work with my team one-on-one. -on -one. If you're not even ready for that, you scroll to the bottom of that page and you can see all of our real-time MLS feeds where we give you my broker access to all the properties in the Cleveland market so you can see what's out there, right? You can see what B class single families are going to run you roughly. You can see what C or D class. Some people, you know, they get attracted to the high numbers, so they want to look at D class properties. But maybe you're out there in California and you don't really know what it's like to 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 see a D class neighborhood in a city like Cleveland. So why don't you check out what types of housing stock is in those risk levels? You know, get on Google Earth and, and really check it all out so you can see what you're interested in, right? So you don't have to navigate on like Zillow or Trulia, like, oh, this property's priced really well. Is this a B class neighborhood? And then, you know, you pay for a big old analysis and I tell you, no, dude, that's an F class neighborhood. That's the hardcore ghetto, right? We can get all that sorted out for you before you spend the big bucks. And that's very cheap. Those are 30 bucks and they come directly from the MLS. So in addition to being pre-sorted for you based on risk tolerance and asset type, they are also getting to you quicker. So you're getting them before Zillow, you're getting them before Trulia, you're getting them before Realtor.com. The moment these properties become available on the uh, MLS, you are immediately getting that. So if the property fits your price range, if the property fits your risk profile, you are able to then act quickly because you know there's heavy competition with investors from all over the world looking into Cleveland. So, you know, the best deals, they move quickly. You got to hop on them quickly. So that's that. Again, Jason, shoot my team an email if you'd like to move forward on this property. Uh, if not, just let us know. And next time we do another video together, you know, we can redirect. That's all I've got for you guys today. Stay safe out there. Make sure you listen to the government. Make sure you listen to the 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 things the CDC is putting out there. We've all got to do our part to keep everybody safe. So for you know the near future, I anticipate you guys are going to see me in my home office doing videos for you. We've still got field staff out there at Holton Wise, you know, making sure all repairs get taken care of, things of that nature. But non-essential uh, personnel, people that can do their jobs remotely, are all doing their jobs remotely from our company. You know, that is what we can do to help, you know, get everybody in America through, you know, this pandemic, right? It's a very, very small thing that we're doing. But if we all pitch in a little bit, we can all get through this together. And, uh, you know, hopefully things will get back to normal here in a few months. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs 
I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.